Hi everyone, it's Katie Wardrobe here from Midnight Music and I just wanted to say how excited I am to be coming back to the daytime events run by Music Ednet in 2019. I'm looking forward to presenting three different sessions this year once again. The first one is going to be all about creating your own teacher resources. Now these might be the sorts of things that you see on Teachers Pay Teachers where there are brightly coloured worksheets and things that you can use in your classroom like posters. I'm going to talk about using software that you already have, which will be PowerPoint, Keynote or Google Slides, in order to create resources just like this. And you might think that those presentation tools are just for presenting, but I'm going to show you that they are fantastic tools for doing graphic design options. So we'll talk about that. We're also going to talk about creating your own games and other lesson resources. So I'm really looking forward to that one. It's a new one for me and it's something that I do a lot in my everyday business life. The second session I'm going to be doing is an iPad session and I'm going to talk about five different apps that I think are really fantastic for the music classroom. Now the five apps are going to be GarageBand. GarageBand is such a great versatile app which can do so many things and everybody has it so it's a really good one to get to know a little bit more. The second one is SampleBot. Now a lot of people have been disappointed by the loss of MadPad with the update to iOS 11 and SampleBot is kind of my new replacement for that. We're also going to look at Singing Fingers, Explain Everything and Flipgrid and those last two are really good if you're looking at doing digital portfolio type work with your students. Now the third session that I'm going to do is all about organising your digital stuff. So this resulted from a question that I had from a music teacher about what do I do with all of the links that I've saved from Facebook. I've got great videos, I have useful articles, I have lesson ideas, I have links to teachers, paid teachers, resources, I have all these sorts of things and I just don't know how to manage them all so I can find things easily. So I'm going to talk through a few options, some things that I I do myself to be able to retrieve things when I need them and I'm going to talk about using the sorts of things that you have access to already. You don't need special software to do this. I'm just going to talk through some workflow and productivity tips so that you can find things really easily. So I hope you'll come to one of those sessions or all three maybe and I'll look forward to seeing you at one of the daytime events in 2019.